This paper, Red Queen, Safeguarding Large Language Models Against Concealed Multi-Turn Jailbreaking, explores a new type of attack on large language models, LLMs, and proposes a mitigation strategy. What is the main focus of this research? The paper focuses on the vulnerability of LLMs to multi-turn jailbreak attacks, where attackers can manipulate the model into generating harmful content by concealing their malicious intent within a multi-turn conversation. That's interesting. Can you, can you elaborate on how this type of attack differs from traditional single-turn jailbreaks? Traditional jailbreak attacks typically involve a single prompt that directly elicits harmful content. Multi-turn jailbreaks, on the other hand, involve a series of prompts that gradually lead the model towards generating harmful content without explicitly revealing the attacker's true intentions. So the attacker is essentially trying to trick the model into thinking they are asking for something benign while actually aiming for a harmful outcome. How does the Red Queen attack work? The Red Queen attack constructs a multi-turn scenario where the user pretends to be a protector accusing someone else of planning a harmful action. The user then asks the model for advice on how to prevent the harm, subtly leading the model to generate a plan for the harmful action. That's a clever approach. What kind of scenarios are used in the Red Queen attack? The paper uses two types of scenarios, occupation-based and relation-based. Occupation-based scenarios involve users with specific professions, like police officers or teachers, who encounter someone planning a harmful action in their work context. Relation-based scenarios involve users interacting with someone they have a defined relationship with, such as a friend or relative. And what about the harmful actions? How are they chosen? The harmful actions are selected from the Beaver Tales dataset, which contains a wide range of malicious questions categorized into 14 different categories. The paper uses a sentence transformer to extract 100 representative harmful actions from each category, resulting in a total of 1,400 unique actions. So the Red Queen attack is designed to be quite comprehensive. What are the key findings of the paper's experiments? The experiments show that the Red Queen attack is highly effective against a range of LLMs, including GPT-40 and Llama 370B. The attack success rate is significantly higher than traditional single-turn jailbreaks, highlighting the vulnerability of LLMs to this new type of attack. That's concerning. What factors contribute to the success of the Red Queen attack? The paper identifies three key factors, the multi-turn structure, the concealment of malicious intent, and the model size. The multi-turn structure allows the attacker to gradually build trust with the model, making the scenario more believable. Concealment helps to hide the attacker's true intentions, making it harder for the model to detect the malicious nature of the request. Larger models are more susceptible to the attack because they have a better understanding of language and are more likely to generate detailed plans. So larger models, which are generally considered more capable, are actually more vulnerable to this attack. That's quite counterintuitive. What mitigation strategy does the paper propose? The paper proposes a mitigation strategy called Red Queen Guard, which involves training LLMs on a carefully designed multi-turn data set using direct preference optimization, DPO. This data set includes examples of successful Red Queen attacks, along with safe responses that the model should learn to generate instead. So the idea is to train the model to recognize and avoid generating harmful content in multi-turn scenarios. How effective is Red Queen Guard? The experiments show that Red Queen Guard significantly reduces the attack success rate to below 1% while maintaining the model's performance on standard benchmarks. This demonstrates the potential of DPO for improving the safety of LLMs in multi-turn scenarios. That's promising. However, the paper also mentions some limitations. What are they? The paper acknowledges that the evaluation is conducted in a zero-shot setting, meaning the model is not specifically trained to defend against the Red Queen attack. The paper also notes that the research focuses on text-based jailbreaks and does not explore the potential vulnerabilities in multimodal contexts. So there's still room for improvement in terms of developing more robust mitigation strategies and exploring the potential vulnerabilities in other modalities. What are the ethical considerations of this research? The paper emphasizes that the research is conducted solely for academic purposes and should not be misused. The goal is to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities in LLMs to ensure their safe and responsible use. That's important to keep in mind. So the paper highlights the importance of proactive safety measures to address the evolving threat of jailbreak attacks on LLMs. What are the key takeaways from this research? The research demonstrates the effectiveness of multi-turn jailbreak attacks against LLMs and highlights the need for more comprehensive safety alignment training. 
The Red Queen Guard mitigation strategy shows promise for improving the safety of LLMs in multi-turn scenarios, but further research is needed to develop more robust and generalizable solutions. This was a fascinating discussion on the technical aspects of this paper. Thank you for your insights.